Good morning. I hope y'all are ready for this because it's going to be really fun. Okay. Um, in case you're new, my name is Whitney Nicely and I'm the broker for Whitney Buys Houses. I'm all real estate all the time. I have a radio show and a podcast called All Real Estate All the Time. And today, I'm going to tell you why real estate investors don't care who wins the presidential election. All right. And I'm going to quote Victor Jernigan, who is an absolute real estate genius, and say that he... He basically said this at the Real Estate Investor Association meeting, the RIA meeting earlier this month. And I think this is what he says, but Jason is my husband. And Jason says that I have a problem not listening or not hearing what people actually say sometimes or not how they want to say it. I don't really know what he said because I wasn't listening to him. But anyway, um, Victor said that we don't care. Real estate investors don't care who wins the presidential election because they're not making decisions on our level okay i have never seen and this is me i have never seen a president at the mpc meeting i have never seen the president or any of his little people the vice president or any of those people i have never seen them stand up as the spokesperson for an hoa and say we don't want this red light at our four-way stop I've never seen them stand up and say, you know, that a group of neighbors have gotten together and they don't want the Johnson's farm to turn into a subdivision or, you know, and maybe the Johnson's farm was going to be a one house per acre kind of subdivision. That's fine, but I still haven't seen a president stand up and say, we definitely don't want a high density apartment complex on the Johnson's farm. Okay. And I've never seen them stand up at any local meeting and say, you know what? We need a new school out here. We need to redo the school out here. I, I've never seen them do that. And that's why for real estate investors, you should be so much more conscientious. You should pay so much more attention to the local election than you do the big election, okay? And I know that it's easy to get on the bandwagon for one or the other, but I wish people would get on the bandwagon for their local people more because there are people running for your local government who don't want any more industrial land. They don't want any more factories. They don't want any more jobs created in your neighborhood. They don't want a uh, the revitalization, okay? Every city across the country has a part of town that maybe 50, 60, or 100 years ago, this was like the heart of the town, but it's fallen on bad times. And there are people running for local government who just want to demolish all of those old houses. And I'm not saying that's right or wrong. A lot of them do just need to be demolished. But the president isn't going to come in and make that decision. So my friend Tamika Bryant, who is a real estate powerhouse out in Kansas City or Oklahoma City or somewhere where they don't have any mountains, she said basically the same thing is don't get so caught up in what's going on nationally that you overlook what's actually going to affect your bottom line. Because if you start electing people who are going to make it um, a, like a tighter codes enforcement or they're going to put new codes out or they're going to enforce different things that basically make it impossible to go in and flip a house and make money. If you want to be a flipper, you need to be aware of that. Okay? You need to know who's going to want you to go in and make this part of town pretty again instead of just demolishing it and putting a you know trailer in and there are people running for government that make those decisions okay they run at the uh, county level they run in the commission level they're all over the place but instead of getting all up on your high horse about which president you want I understand that they're representing our country and I understand that we need a good one and blah 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 I get a lot more tied up and tore up about who's going to be making the laws that affect my business. And I know the president through the triple down effect, they can affect my business. But 
more than that, I need to go out and meet the commissioner for my little section of town so that when I have something that comes up before the board, they will know that I'm on their side. You know, I voted for them. I campaigned for them. I let them know that we believe in revitalization. We believe in making the old stuff look good again. Or if it's, you know, past repair, then maybe we want it to be rebuilt to look of the neighborhood instead of new, like a throw up house. And a throw up house is when, you know, the developer goes through and they just throw up like a hundred houses in six months or something ridiculous. That's a throw up house in case you were wondering. So I know it's really popular right now to be voicing your opinion on this one or that one. But just for a minute, I want you to spend half as much time evaluating your local people instead of the national people. And Eric, Michael, Adam, and Bob, if y'all don't have me come on air to do this rampage, I'm going to call in and have my own little tirade uh, in the call-in section of the show. Okay, and if anybody else wants to hear any more, you can call me too and we'll talk about it more. But spend some time with your local government. At least half as much time focusing on your local government that you're spending on the national government. Okay, another thing is there are some laws, so everybody watches these HGTV shows. Have you ever wondered why they film in certain cities and counties and not others? Have you ever wondered what the actual process was like for them to get the codes and be able to flip this house in six weeks when it would have taken a regular flipper six months? The stuff on TV is not always... I know it gives you a countdown that they've been working on this house for 52 days and blah, blah, blah. Somebody somewhere at the local government level allowed those TV cameras to come in and allowed the expedition, pro allowed the process to be expedited so that it would fit a 30 minute segment. The president doesn't have anything to do with that. So. When you call me and you say that you love this show and you love that show, I'm going to say why and how, how true do you think that is? All I'm saying is that you need to pay more attention to the local government because a lot of times people go in and they're so focused on the national government that they don't even know who these local government people are. It's just names. So they just check one and go on. I'm telling you, these local people are going to affect your bottom line. So, um, well, I got your attention here. I have a 90-day program. If you're ready to be a real estate investor, I have a 90-day program where you can get in, get started, get your first deal done, get paid in 90 days, okay? When I started investing in real estate, I bought a house for 10 bucks, which I don't suggest that anymore, but I did. I bought a house for 10 bucks and I had the contracts written up. I had all this stuff happening and I ended up cashing out and selling the house in 62 days and made 15 grand. So that was in less than 90 days. So that's why I have a 90 day program because I did it in 90 days. I know you can do it in 90 days. If you want to get in, see what it's like, see what it's really like to be a real estate investor, then come on in. Come on in. Uh, you can fill out the application all about REI.com slash application. I'll put the link up here later. But I hope everybody has a great day. I hope you go out and buy a house, buy some land, buy a trailer park, buy something today. Buy something that's going to give you just a little bit of residual income so that you can build on it and get more residual income so you can build on that and get even more and then replace your 9 to 5 or retire early or go on an extra fancy vacation every year. You can totally do it. And you're not going to do it by picking up an extra Saturday shift. 
If you want to pick up an extra Saturday shift or you want a second job, you need to do something in real estate because you will be amazed at how fast your time and effort and energy is multiplied when you're not clocking in for somebody else for $15 an hour. All right, all about rei.com slash application, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.